Hello everybody, welcome to episode 15 of the Nugget Show. Um, here we are in the base. Nothing has changed uh, from the last episode. Mostly things down and down outside, up here outside with the mob spawner. Sculpton spawner. And you also may notice I'm using a texture pack. This is actually my texture pack that I'm still currently working on. I have I haven't worked on this in like uh like three months, I think. I I think that's a right amount of time, but um I think it I think it's good good enough looking to record videos with, so I'm going to use it for now on, at least try to and um, I'll explain to you what, what I'm going to try to finish in this episode. Um, so this was a cool uh, storage idea that my friend Official Sam Handwich showed me when we were playing on a multiplayer server. And <clears throat> you can actually right click on the block and it opens a minecart. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry if you can hear those uh, sounds. My family is watching some sort of action movie. But, oh, it's snowing. Great. If you right click on it, it opens a minecart that is actually pushed inside the block. You can see it right there. I think if I run to this corner, we'll push out. Yep. That's, you can't really push it back in. And I did some tests with it. It doesn't move if you log out and log back in, which I thought it was going to, but it doesn't. Um, I was thinking, I was talking to Super Green Miner about this, putting a storage system all along the wall here, and then also in aisles um, close to this, a, a the Nether portal. So I was thinking of doing that, which would be pretty sweet because I'm honestly tired of running around <clears throat> the central hub to uh, get these items um, I found some diamonds I did some more mining I got a little more redstone I need to put that in the minecart down there I'm still uh, kinda low in uh, iron and let's see what else oh yeah the Mobs, mob spawner that works it's just I um, need to work on it more I got the pipe uh oh <gasps> looks like we got dinner okay I am back that was delicious food <laughs> um so how about we attempt to do this uh, storage system idea I don't know how I'm going to do the aisles, I mean, um, because we don't, we don't have a lot of space here, plus we have the portal, which I'm keeping, I want it to be there, but, um, I think, yeah, we, we, it only has to be a block thick, block wide, thick, yes, thick, and, I'm think I'm just wondering can it be every does it have to be every other block or can it be right next to each other so I'm going to experiment with that I'll be back with you once I have these supplies Okay so I'm going to use dirt as the, as the example here we actually don't need to put that there just yet And shoot I already forgot some stuff The thing I forgot was the mine carts that's I'm going to have to use. I'll make five. There we go. And I have these chests to turn them into mine carts with chests. There we go. Is there any? Oh, I got them all. And I have stuff cooking in here still. Oh, I do have a lot of iron. Um, the reason why I got that iron, like if you're wondering how I did that. I was cutting down trees back here in the back because I needed more wood and I found this cave and oh my gosh it 
Like, there was a lot of stuff in that cave. And I ended up running into another abandoned mine shaft, which had tons of chests. I was surprised with all the ch chests they had in that place. I'll actually use mossy cobblestone as the example. So what you do, um, this is using Sam Handwich, official Sam Handwich's idea. Put that there. We also need mine tracks, which I believe we have over here. I think we do. Okay, I'll just grab those. Nice thing about it, you can just, you don't need them afterwards. Um, so, yeah, I'll take that down for now, but you have to place it like so. Two mine tracks. Put the minecart there, and then you have to remove the tracks. I, I wish there was an easier way to do this. I can't remember if there is. Get rid of it like that. And then I'll put that block there. Put the border around it. And you just flip the lever. And what I would do is put like a little thing at the back so you can push it. And you should be able to right click it and you just store the, that block. Um, and you know, whatever block you have marked. You know, it's sort of like color coding. But see, I did, I did something wrong there. I, did, I skipped two blocks. But that's kind of the idea that I'm um, looking for. Or I'm, it's the idea that I'm going to be using for this. But one more test, and that's going to be. Um, should stop snowing. There it goes. I want to try putting two of them right next to each other. So, I just do this, put that there, get rid of the tracks, which is the hard part. This one's the hardest to get rid of. Um, and then, <coughs> that, get rid of that. Sorry if you can hear my parents talking, They're talking about their jobs and how, how much their life sucks. <laughs> You want to be careful not pushing the minecart though. I'll use dirt. And then put a little barrier at the back. Push it. Push. Come on. Push. 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 <gasps> Wait a second. I'm wondering something. I just thought of something. Oh, I think it um, is based on the orientation or which direction it is facing. So yeah, oh okay, it's already facing that way, so I didn't have to change the direction of it. I don't believe. I don't know. This is correct. Oh, should just be able to break that. Push, push, push. Uh oh. See, I can't push it. Maybe I have to do it the other way? Can... Or maybe. Let's try something else. Maybe you have to. Sorry if this is boring you, but I'm just I'm just experimenting here. Maybe you have to make it face this way. Let's try that. <clears throat> Whoops. And you delete tracks and then put the barrier around it oh shoot 
Need that there. Piston? No. Piston? Block? Push? Area? Area? And then I think you can just push it. What? Do I have to push it even more? Uh oh. So we have a problem. Maybe I have to just push it in like that. No? Push a little bit more? No? A little bit more? Nice push, does the charm? Dang it! No. Barely. I pushed it too far. Dang it. Come on, just tap it. Tap. This is gonna be tricky. Oh man. What are we gonna do for a storage system? I don't wanna do normal chess. What is that? That's not good. So it only works in certain directions. Oops, I pushed that one too far. Oops. So, yeah, I don't believe this is uh, going to work. We're going to have to do something else with the sides. It makes me sad. I don't know. Unless one of you could tell me if this, like, you know, does work somehow and I'm just doing it wrong. We're doing it wrong. Come on. It's so strange. No. Why is it facing? Has to face that way, right? And then it changes direction. Oh! Did you see, guys see that? Look, I'll do it again. I'll do it again. You put it down. Break the the tracks. It changes direction. It was the. See, that's what. Oh, okay. You need to fix that. Someone who works at Mojang, <laughs> fix that, please. I I can't have it change in direction on me like that. Does it change orientation for normal minecarts? Gosh, this is so difficult. Eh. Yep, it does. Dang it. So that's not going to work. And if it, they do end up changing that, that'd be amazing. But for now, we're not going to be able to. Oh, sh shoot, that sucks. Uh, maybe I'm just going to have to label the chest. Like, dang it. I could do the ones on this wall, but I'm not going to be able to do the aisles with these, like I was hoping to. Like that. All because of its orientation. The way it's facing. That's dumb. So, change of plans. We'll work on the storage system maybe another day, like in another episode. Um, but... Let's go work on the mob spawner. I'm gonna grab some wood 
And I'm also going to grab some snow. And also some buttons. So I need to make some. Oops. I'll just turn all of this stone into buttons. You never know how many you may need. I'll throw this dirt away. I also need snow. I don't need these mine pits anymore. The sun's going down. Let's let's grab this iron as well. And then the rest of this coal. I'll just throw. Uh, throw that iron. There. What I'm gonna do with this coal? I'm gonna go throw it in the back here. And add it to this. Uh, this is probably the most that gets used. Yeah. Okay. I'll see you in the morning. I'm going to collect some snow first. I'm going to collect some snow first, but then I will meet you down at the mob spawner. Okay, so I'm here. Wow. If you can hear that, that's the wind from... That's the wind outside of my house. IRL. <laughs> um, I'm not talking about Minecraft. Bad, but, um, it is loud. It is windy outside, so. This is what I did. I made a little tube, taking it to this cobblestone block, which, where the skeletons will fall and land here. And then I'll set up like a crushing system back here. And I'm gonna. No. I've been hoping these things are spawning, but it's not really. Maybe it's just me. I'm really impatient, but I'll be right back. Okay, so here comes one. Let's see if this will work. They go up there and they should fall. Yeah. It works. Oh, whoops, I put that sign in the wrong spot. <laughs> Silly me. I'll kill those guys. Dang it. <laughs> I've knocked back on the sword. Oh. Okay. Let's grab this sign. Uh, throw it up there. Excuse me. So, let's wait here a little longer and see if any more come up. I want to see if they actually fall down. See, I have to stand in like this area for them to spawn. And then when AFK long enough, I'll just go over here and use the crushing machine. And that's how it's going to work. I was going to use like a system where they go up a certain amount of blocks and then fall. But since I have the redstone to do it now, I can just use a crusher for a certain amount of time. And yeah. I don't know how I'm going to do it though. That's, that's the main question. It's how to how to build it. Because I, I, I honestly don't know. Here comes some more. Oop. Ha ha. Run. Run. Burn. Are they fighting each other? <laughs> wow. Ouch. Look at you, smarty pants. Pretty clever guy. New AI is pretty pretty cool. So the mob crusher, how are we gonna do this? I need to make some a uh, need to make a shovel. I should have done it up there while I was there. In the central hub. But I'll just make a stone shovel, which the textures look terrible on. 
I'm sorry. <laughs> and so I need to figure out some sort of crushing mechanism. We land here. All outlines of snow. Land here. And then what happens next? Uh put that wood there. And there what what's going to happen? I can push a button which will activate a crusher for a certain amount of um, you know, seconds and then it will release and then it should be able should uh end up the end up I can't come on, I can't speak today. Once again. I just suck at comment commentating commentating. See? I just suck at commentating. <laughs> But it's gonna make it so it's a one hit kill for the skeletons after they're crushed. And uh, I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but whoops, let's just start building, I guess. Um, the crusher could probably just should be from the side or from the back. I don't, I don't even know. I need to make something where it closes off up here. So what I can do is put a block there. Because I don't want it like clogging up, if you know what I mean. I mean, I guess a crusher would stop it, but... That will be extended once the trap is extended also. The crusher is extended. Um, I could just have it all be back here. Like that. That looks pretty nice. Um, I'll have one of the buttons here. Do I have any? Just, uh, set that up. Get some slabs. And maybe have a button here. I don't know if I would have another button here or not, but I mainly I just have a crusher button, right? place in the middle of snow also. So it's not all chocolate wood. Coolest looking wood in the world. Um, I'll be back with you. Okay, so we're gonna do some redstone here. Um, oh shoot, I do not have any repeaters. I'm gonna need a lot of repeaters for this project. Because I just looked up a video and I think it's like 16 to 17 seconds, which is 16 to 17 ticks and a repeater. So we need to create an RS snore latch. And then we'd be good for that. I think I might use glass here to lock the sides up, maybe. It'd be kind of cool. Um. I might want to try something here. Uh, let's see. I just realized something. If I have that like that, I'm not going to be able to get the stuff. M well, maybe. Hmm. Okay, so I just came up with an idea in my head. You're just going to have to bear with me. I'm going to try to build this as quickly as possible. Just because of the time I have in this video I try to make each episode oh my gosh my dog holy crap he's meowing so loud okay so this episode may be a bit longer I don't know how many minutes I am into it but um, it may be a bit longer so I put some water in there and just in case well this is probably gonna happen because the items will get stuck back there so I'm gonna have to you don't get the uh, water to push it towards me. Um, I need like a pressure plate here, which I can make right now, so the water doesn't you know go too far. Um, then that's gonna be the thing that stops them from falling, and then the crusher 
can be on the left side. Oops, there it goes. So get my two, three sticky pistons out, but I only need two. Put that right here. There, there. Right? No, wrong. Did that wrong, man. Dang it. <laughs> Dang it, dang it, dang it. <laughs> I'm stuck. Um, nope. Wrong thing. Boop. Uh -oh. I'm gonna have to replace that with a block like that now, just to make it look normal. Make even. The blocks haven't changed. That was so weird. I thought I, I thought I saw, like, someone's nameplate. That was really odd. Um, I'm not joking either, that was, that freaked me out for a second. So this is, this, the left one will control the crushers, and the, left, and the right one, the right button will control the water, um, to open and close, and the left button will also control this, a bad boy. Um, so, we need to set up an RS Norlat, not an RS Norlatch, we need to set up a, what's it called, what is it called, what is that thing called, T-flip flop, let's see, how could we set up, how could we set up one, um, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I always say that. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Blah blah blah. I just complain and complain. I need to get down far enough. I wanna make it underground. Go. See, that looks good. Right? Uh, it's gonna have to go like that there. Let's put the redstone down. Like that. Um, where's my torches? There they are. Oh, whoa. I don't even know how that happened. Uh, there. Oh! <laughs> it's my friend Sean on Steam. Don't mind that. He's probably wondering is this like a longer episode or something? Sorry, Sean. Viewers come first. No. Just kidding. They don't have to come first. Oh, I hear some skeletons coming. Oh, shoot. I'm wondering if I should have an on and off system. But I don't think... Yeah. I can hear you. Scale pans. Skellingtons. I think it's funny how some, I'm not trying to, you know, diss British people at all, but I think it's funny how some of them say Skellingtons. <laughs> sounds funny. <laughs> but that's me. It's just me. Me being dumb. And judging everything. Oh, that doesn't power it. Um, wow. They're making a lot of noise up there. Keep it down. Maybe I can just use her. Whoa. Oh. There it goes. It wouldn't let me click anything. That was weird. Oh. Oh. Ah, oh, thank you. Oh, my inventory is full. Sorry. So this should open and close that. Yeah. And I can just stick some water in there. I'll block these sides off so it doesn't go anywhere. Let's test this. Yeah, so he pushes the um, items towards me. 
what I want. Oh. I didn't know. How is he burning? Wait a second. That's not good. Is it because there's glass there? I don't know. But, um... You know, guys, I think we can finish the episode off here. I don't want to make it too long. Um, I hope you enjoyed this one. Just like all the others. Um, by the time uh, the next episode comes out, I will probably have this done. And uh, I'm going to try to get some experience. Which will be nice, because I need some to enchant some items. So, again, I hope you enjoyed this episode. We still need to work on the village and the nether. And, of course, finish my house. Which I, I, I have to do, still. But it's a pain working on the house. I don't... It's boring to me. <laughs> but, um... Yeah. See you next time. Please rate, comment, and subscri uh, subscribe. Goodbye!